Uh, today is practice number 17, and we have 11 more to go, plus two exhibition games, or an exhibition game and a scrimmage. So we are, uh, we've made great progress uh, from what you saw, anybody saw this summer, if anybody saw us even practicing earlier this year. Uh, there's still some days that we don't, uh, we, we really look like we're really missing Mohammed, Duncan, uh, Jerron and Mo, and then there's there's other days where we said, okay, we could be all right. So it's the same thing I've had for this is my 44th year as a head coach. Some days I, I take the shower after the game, and some days I don't think we'll win a game, and then some days I think, all right, we'll be all right. That's about as positive as I'll get this time of the year. But if you watch, we looked at our scores from last year and things, and we're going to see some junk early in the season, and uh, we're going to we're trying to get our guys ready for everything that we can get ready for. So, um, as I said, we're, 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 we're back. We've had a couple slight uh, injuries, and everybody's back to, uh, to health right now. Uh, we're going to work out for you for about an hour. It's going to be rather generic, but it is still going to be something that you can, you know, sort of look, take a look at where everybody is. And uh, we're starting to settle maybe into it. We had, like I said, we had a, a couple slight sprains, a sprain Isaiah and Charles and their back, but in the meantime, other guys got a chance to play. And uh, so we're, uh, we, we, we feel excited about them, but it sort of has led to, you know, maybe where we're going to play some people. And you'll see maybe some of that today if you follow us, if, but it could change like that at any minute, whether it's injury or just somebody starts really playing well. So, but it, they, they're a great group to coach. I mean, every day it's like no agendas, just let's get to, let's, let's go play basketball and let's improve as a team. Uh, and we're looking at, I know I say this every year, and somehow it continues to grow, probably the most difficult schedule that we've had. And when you add in that the guarantee games are not, uh, don't look like guaranteed wins. They look like teams with everybody back, and any one of them could, could sneak up and get us. So we have uh, some real challenges, and we're going to try and be up for them. So I'd love to add, answer any questions that you have and look forward to you meeting my assistants. Uh, this was the, one of the best things about the transition from last year to this year is we didn't lose anybody off our staff for the first time. And they are, we have as good a staff as anybody in the country without question. From, from, our, from Brian and our video, Chinatu, Chris Hunter, Lisa, right, um, Jay Shunau, the Huron, former Huron coach and former Toledo player is our GA. And then uh, the three assistants there have just been terrific. I love delegating to them because I know things are going to get done. Ethan, you want to start us off? Uh, Coach, what, what improvements have you seen from Isaiah and how do you see his role increasing this year? But it, that, that he, uh, he tweaked his ankle. I mean, it was very minor, and you'll see it back again. Um, he's shooting the ball. He's shooting the ball better. And, he, and you know what? He's like uh, defensively. He likes the game. He's a very bright young man. Are very bright in school, and you, he he thinks the same way uh, defensively. He sees things around him and educates the other guys. That's the biggest thing. He he probably has the, uh, more of a sense of a veteran than a lot of sophomores would have. And actually, Jordan Poole's been doing the exact same thing. For two sophomores, they're 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 talking to their teammates like they're veterans. Say over here, Steve. Uh, starting with Iggy, could you start? Talk about each of the freshmen briefly and, okay. and, and, and what you've seen of them and your, your, your first impressions of those guys. Yeah, Iggy's been such a pleasure to coach. I just texted somebody the other day that this the kid wants to be such a good player. And for a player that's so highly rated, a player that is so college ready to play, he's a sponge. And it's really just, you know, you just say, okay, this is a, this is a guy, you know, the Hardaways and Leverts and guys were like, yeah, where Stauskas were the guys that came in there were sponges. And uh, that's really, that's good for all of us to coach. It's yes sir, no sir, and I just love love coaching him. So he's got a chance to, to play right away. Uh, he could be in the starting lineup. People will wait and see what happens. But he's doing a really good job. And then the uh, uh, next, Brandon Johns would, would be next. I'm just going to sort of go by who, who, who we see right now. Brandon and David are pretty much, David and Jules are in the same boat right now that they're trying to, every day they learn something, there's something new to consider. There's a new way people play us. There's a new way we have to guard. And that's that just takes some time. 
they're very much, they're, all three of them, those guys are very much like Isaiah and Jordan last year at this time. And, but I love, they're working hard, they get good, they both, just both of them have to learn what winning basketball really looks like at this level. They know what it was looked like at the high school level, now they're, le they're going to learn what's at this level. And, and, and uh, both Cowan and Adrian are, they'll, they'll, one minute, it's the, the Mo Wagner thing again, one minute they'll do something and say, what was I thinking, you know? that they really have a long way to go. And next thing you now say is, just like Mo Wagner, oh, that's, what, that's why he's here. And they're both just making really good strides. Everybody will take steps back, uh, but they go forward. But this is this freshman group I really like. With, with Brandon and, and David, what do you specifically about each of those guys like about each of them? David is a, a bowling ball. David can get into the lane. He, he you know, wards off people with, with his body. And uh, is doing a great job of fishing, and he really can shoot the ball. He's just uh, take the lead by every everything that comes at you, defensively and offensively, uh, that we could see during the year. Uh, and and so Brandon, so you see the body, but he's got to use the body, and he, he's doing it a little bit more right now. It was it was very Isaiah Livers the other day. He went in and was could have went in and just like dunked it on somebody, and he chose to do a runner and missed it. So Brandon, Brandon is pretty simple. You that's. You got to go in and use that all those God-given talents, and he will. He will. He's a great kid. Okay, John. With Eli last year, he went from you know being back up to starting yeah. back up again. How do you feel like he handled that process, and what do you hope you learned from he learned from it? You know, he he, uh, he handled it last year really well, and it, it was it was hard for him to to um, he got chances to go back on the scout team and really get reps in. He's been one of our best players this fall. So it's really good. We we don't know whether he'll back up more at the point, play more of the two. I don't know what really he's going to be on the court, but he's really he's probably been shot the ball as, as good as anybody on the team. But he just he talks on defense. One of the reasons remember he played it was flow. He just understood flow, and then defensively he talked our other freshmen into where they should be. He just sees the game slower than others, and and that's a good thing. So that's what he's doing again. He's been really had a good really good fall. And you've been through this before, coming off the national title game. I guess as a coach, is there anything you learned from the first time? I guess about handling and managing expectations this following season. So, what was the first part, James? Coming off the national title game. So yeah. Um, about handling this? Yeah, I, I mean the the expectations for for a team that lost so many good players is is probably way too high, and we're we're not going to worry about them anyhow. We just got to. I can't let let our guys worry about any hype if we're a nationally ranked team or where are we. They come out and they do the early stuff. We just got to try and get better. We got to try and beat Norfolk State. That's what we got to do, and and then we'll see where we are after that. Stay on that and side. And Northwood, Northwood before that. Stay up there with Brad. You have been through so much. Um, I can't even imagine with personally, professionally, in the last I don't even know six months. Where is your head at? How is your heart heading into this basketball season? <laughs> I'm still in love with my wife very much. My heart is fine. <laughs> she, she, she drags my butt to cardio to cardio rehab this morning at eight, at nine fifteen. So that's how much I I love her. <laughs> so, but I feel yeah, I feel absolutely great. I feel great. But it is I I'm, I'm I've been pretty vigilant about getting my. There's a certain way I have to work out right now to get everything back to where 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 it was. And I actually get it back to better. So I feel really good. I get good energy, and you know, I haven't, I haven't, I've been trying to cut back. One, one thing I am delegating more, but without question, the individuals in the morning. I just said, you know, uh, Luke, you got Charles, and you know, Sadi had uh, Austin. Usually, I'd be over sort of being part of that, but I was over there running on a treadmill this morning. The wire was all up to me. So, how do you wrap your head around everything from the national championship run? Yeah. Run until you know, it, 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 that doesn't down. really differentiate say, from other seasons. Were, I'm always wrapping my head around something, you know, and trying to, to put it together. But I've, I'm, I'm in such a always a go forward mood, you know, that I forget about all that stuff. I forget about some, you know, that it would be, you know, when I go when I found the final four after we went 13, I bother. I was we were really here. Yeah, you know, I said that 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 was our team over there on that bench. So it's the same thing. I mean, I just don't. You just let let those clouds pass, and you look on to what's what's in front of you. Let that sunshine pass too. You know, let that sunset.